हेलो मित्रों मैं निमंत्रण के लिए डॉक्टर अमूली साहू को धन्यवाद देना चाहूँगा मैं इस तरह के प्रतिष्ठित सहयोगियों और दोस्तों के बीच यह हराने के लिए सामान्य हूँ आई बिलीव इन बेटर सर्जरी I think ocular surgery must constantly evolve in the direction of simplification, efficiency and efficacy. What is the nucleus spin? It's a fast and repetitive nucleus rotation, hence the spin, in both clockwise and counterclockwise direction. Performed after hydrodissection, its purpose is cortex release. But why cortex release? Why is it important? Cortex management is an essential step as all cortex must be removed during surgery. It is a time-consuming step. Cortex removal can present difficulties related to remnant location or visualization. Most importantly, it has been shown that most posterior capsule rents happen during cortex management. It is clear then that it would be extremely beneficial to facilitate or eliminate this step. Two maneuvers can help. One is the well-known and universally used cortical cleaving hydrodissection, but it often is not enough to achieve that. In conjunction with the spin, complete cortex release is achieved in the vast majority of cases. The spin technique is simple. It should be performed right after hydrodissection with or without hydrodelineation under irrigation with the fecal probe or under OVD using an instrument like the chopper itself or a Sinsky hook. Multiple rotations are performed, first in one direction and then in the other. Usually five rotations in each direction is sufficient Around 10 ensures complete cortex release in almost all cases. The spin is very easy to learn and to perform. No special instrument is needed and it is easily incorporated in the surgical routine. It is a fast maneuver which saves a lot of surgical time when complete cortex release is achieved. As the forces are applied in a tangential manner to the entire zonular apparatus simultaneously, it is very zonular friendly. Cortex release and expulsion provides free space in the capsular bag, useful in nucleus management. When properly performed, it completely eliminates the cortex management step, saving time and providing safety. It would be logical to speculate that the maneuver friction removes lens epithelial cells, potentially diminishing the posterior capsular opacification rate. Let's see some spin examples. As you can see, clockwise rotations and then counterclockwise ones. The farther away from the center you push the nucleus, more grabbing power and control you have, but always respecting the rex's margin. Gentle back and forth movements can be employed until nucleus is free. Then, nucleus rotations follow, 10 in each direction in this case. Nucleus management is done with the surgeon's preferred technique, and most of the times, after nucleus management, no cortex is still present. It is a very useful technique to master and incorporate in your surgical routine. Thank you for your attention.